Mr. Greg, and hello, Frank. You can probably hear, hi, Kevin. <laughs> you can probably hear from the sound of my voice. You were most definitely first, Mr. Greg. Uh, <clears throat> why, it's mainly instrumental this evening. I've had a very nasty lurgy. It's not been COVID, and I actually feel OK, but it's still making me a bit... <laughs> Fine apart from that. So I'm going to be doing quite a lot of instrumental stuff. I'm only doing my half hour, like my original show, which was my daft half hour. And we'll see how I got on. I've got a rehearsal on Wednesday with the Bel Airs and we're playing in Valleyfield Club on Saturday night, 9 till 12. So if you could possibly get yourself down to Valleyfield Club. Kevin, I know it's a bit of a ways from Tunbridge, Wales, but you know, Valleyfield Club, you know, it's pretty damn prestigious. Hello, Gail. Anyway, I'm going to be singing two, hi Frankie, I'm going to be singing two, three songs, the rest of it will just be instrumental. Okay? Um, well, if it's not okay, well, too bad, because that's what's happening. So this is Woody Guthrie, Hobo's Lullaby. I like doing it because um, it's easy to sing. <laughs> <laughs> People have been tuning in, that's nice. Do you hear me croaking away here? 
Okay, hi, Liz. Hi. I'm sorry I don't speak Gaelic. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> Captain B. Far. <laughs> Hello, Derek. And hi, Doogie. Okay, this is an instrumental that I put together myself a while back. Uh, I was just trying to put some blues and ragtime stuff together in the different keys I like playing in. So I cover A, D, G, C, and E. I think that's it. I missed out F and B, <laughs> big F and B, because they're horrible to play in on an acoustic guitar open. Okay, so this is uh, Isgold Dicky Ticker Rag, Ra and Pete Rabjohns gave it that name. Because I was down at his house and I played it, and uh, we'd be mumping and moaning about our various ailments as we old boys do. And just to have a laugh at my expense, he called it Dicky Ticker Rag, and it kind of stuck. <laughs>
particular rag. Hi, Paul. How you doing? <coughs> Croaking away there. Okay, here's a James Taylor song. This should be fine because James has got a nice soft baritone, which I'll do my best to emulate. Nothing too high up or I'll start, as Holden Caulfield would have said, coughing like a bastard. Which I would rather not do on air. So this is You Can Close Your Eyes. And you can, you know, you can. <laughs> The sun is surely sinking down But the moon is slowly rising So this old world must still be spinning round And I still love you instrumental again, I haven't done this one for a while but I did have a wee practice today just to remind myself of it it was written over about a hundred years ago by a guy called Billy Brown and it's called Mississippi Blues I learned it from watching a guy called uh, Stephen Grossman that I've mentioned before big influence on me, I've learned a lot from watching him and uh, that's Mississippi Blues, it's great.
Giuseppe Blues. Another little bit of singing, which should be okay. Hi, Kathleen. Thank you for listening. Hi, Dean. Yeah. Uh, this is a bit of singing again, and it should be okay because I've chosen just two or three things that aren't going to challenge my <clears throat> croaky voice too much. I'm saving it for being a veritable rock god next weekend, you know. It's a song I wrote about Broad Street in Cowdenbeath. And, well, it's quite a while ago now, and it's kind of lasted. Lots of songs I write, and you never hear me doing them again. But this is one that, you know, I really like, and uh, I just keep doing it. goes rattling by November rain on the pavements No moon in the sky Lonely souls in the evening Walking home alone In my memory Midnight falls on Broad Street Taxis zipping by Autumn frost on the gardens Winter in the sky I'm here as a young man Walking home alone In my memory Walking home alone 
in my memory Hi Tom, <laughs> a bit late but never too late Okay, another instrumental, which I wrote when we were on holiday in Wales by the side of the Manai Straits. And I took some really nice uh, video footage with my wee camera uh, on the edge of the Straits one evening. There was a, you know, when at sunset, especially beside the water often, everything's a bit pink, the sky was a bit bluey pink and was, the water was shining with kind of pink light and there were a couple of swans and their babies fanning about on the seaweed. and It was all very idyllic, like, you know, by the way, and uh, I also took some filming of uh, water, uh, the Her Hermitage in Dunkeld, and it kind of inspired, but that, that inspired the video, but I actually, the, I wrote the tune, I just got this guitar, and I wrote the tune on that holiday, um, so Marion and others actually heard me putting it together, <laughs> day after day they're probably going, stop playing that bloody tune, anyway, it's called Water's Edge. And it's pretty old too. You can still catch it on my YouTube page. Uh, and although the filming of me playing the guitar is all pretty standard dodgy crap, uh, so re the re it's worth watching just for the film of the, the Manai Straits, the Water's Edge, that lovely evening. So this is Water's Edge. Another change, lots of changes because of all the different tunings, but you can't help trouble.
this is Poor Boy, which is it's an old blues song. Uh, the earliest version I've heard of it is by a guy called Booker White. Been done by loads of people, including the Rolling Stones and Stephen Grossman and John Fahey. And this is a wee bit of the, the Booker White, a wee bit of what Stephen and John brought to it. But quite a big lot of it is just me putting together what I, how I like it to go. So that's called Poor Boy. One more change, one more number, and I'm finished. This is uh, my finishing number, and it's not probably one of my most popular. I know that Paul really likes it, and one or two others, but uh, it's a, a Frank Zappa tune that was turned into an acoustic guitar tune by a very talented and unusual guitarist called Michael Hedges, who sadly died quite young. And it's called Sofa. Well, the Zappa album it's on is called One Size Fits All which OSFA, you will spot as an anagram of sofa, zap, it's full of strange stuff like that. And there are two versions on it. One of it is sung um, by Zappa mainly, but, and it's great, it's sung in German for some reason, I'm not quite sure why, and the other version is instrumental. Marion and I went to see the Zappa band Dweezil Zappa in the, uh, what was called the Picture House in Edinburgh, a great venue, and uh, they did Sofa as an instrumental. But not anything like this, obviously, because it was never really written for acoustic guitar. But it's a great tune. Give it a chance, OK? Just checking the tuning. <laughs>
Thank you very much. And that is the end of my evening's entertainment. Just over half an hour, which is kind of what I intended. Three songs sang, and I haven't lost my voice, so that's a good sign. Um, not sure if I'll be on next Sunday, but I will keep you all informed. And thank you again, everybody, for tuning in and listening to me. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the other side. Good night.